What's happening, YouTube? This your boy Hoodie from the Hood. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Your friend from that big old end. Hey, side note to you niggas trying to argue with me about my last video about Suge. I see I struck a nerve. I don't know if you niggas from California, but like I said, it's always niggas from out of state. Niggas want to come with this and that and this and that. Niggas said I was one sided, but it's hella people saying the same shit about him. And then he pulls up a video about one motherfucker that supports his narrative. But anyways, uh, he gonna tell me to do my research, but then you're gonna say something about my backyard. Donovan is in my backyard. As far as I know, there's one yard, a level three that's good. The rest of it is PC. It's homies on that yard or that was on that yard recently. None of them said they there with Shug. But you could believe that if you want to. And if it's any homies out there that's still in Donovan or is in communication with anybody that's on that one yard, that's good. Tell me if Suge Knight is there. Then the nigga said he was a PC in the county, but not in the pen. Now, you niggas know that you can't do that. So I don't even know who the fuck this nigga is or who I'm talking to. But real niggas know you can't do shit like that. You can't check in and check out like that. But I'm going to let this nigga believe what he want to believe. Anyways, the topic today, what the fuck is this nigga Turk talking about? Hot boy Turk, cash money Turk. What is this nigga talking about, homie? He said everybody play some type of gay games with their homies in prison or not in prison. Talking about, he said it's normal for niggas to be like, Damn, bitch, you looking sexy today. Whatever whatever weird shit this nigga said, homie. Um, if that's what you and your homies do, that's that's y'all, homie. But don't say every man does that. That's bullshit, bro. Let's go back to CDC, California Department of Corrections. At least amongst the black race, homie, sex playing is not cool. I've seen other races do it. That's they get out. That's they politics. That's what they do. Black people do not play like that in California. And if it is some niggas, it's just them two niggas. That is not a thing, homie. That's not a fucking thing. So for him to say some bullshit like that and try to say everybody does it, no, nigga. Everybody does it where you're from. Then he trying to justify the kissing. Listen, to my recollection, and I think even Turk said, Birdman never kissed BG and Juvenile and uh, Manny Fresh and all the older niggas. But he was kissing him and Wayne because they was the two youngest niggas. I felt like he knew that was naive. If that's how y'all get down in New Orleans, why wasn't he kissing everybody? Why was he just kissing y'all two? Then Turk does a video with Kevin Gates another zesty ass nigga who's been accused of liking man man girls for a long time you gonna pull up on this nigga first thing he do is give you a kiss on the cheek wasn't on the lips but then he gonna say we different in new orleans i thought you said everybody do that you said everybody play like that then you're gonna double back and say we different in New Orleans. They don't understand it. No, nigga, we don't. And we don't want to understand it. But don't try to say everybody does that, homie. Y'all can't be different, but you're doing the same shit as everybody else. That literally makes no motherfucking sense, homie. How you gonna, how you gonna pull up on a nigga? I don't know if he thought that that was gonna bring some validity to his story. But this nigga suspect as fuck too. Like, I don't know. It was just weird. The little kiss and then and then I think he kissed him again. I gotta go back and watch it again. I have seen a small clip. Then they like hug and embrace, and it wasn't like no manly hug, like, yeah, you know what I mean? Little shoulder. Yeah. It was like a hug, like two arms wrapped around each other. I don't know, man. Does anybody know what this nigga hot boy Turk is talking about? Do you do that with your friends? Let me know in the comments, man. Hoodie from the hood, your friend from that big old end, man. Like, subscribe, comment. Disagree if you want to, like the mother two niggas. 
But for a nigga to tell me I don't know what I'm talking about, I said, is there any pictures or anything of this nigga as a teenager banging? He the same age as Mob James. The nigga, the nigga Melly Mel, I don't know if you know who Melly Mel is, the hood postman, check his channel out. He about 62, 63 years old, he from Compton. He said the only thing he heard in the 80s was Mob James coming out of the mob. There's probably some other niggas he heard of. Suge wasn't one of them. Um, nothing. You, 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 you can't tell me, you can't tell me, you can't show me no proof that a nigga was outside banging like that. That's all I said. It was my opinion. Motherfucker want to start telling me about, oh, he did this in 87 and all this other shit. And it's like, bro, I'm a documented gang member, homie. Like a lot of you are. If it's a well-known fact that a nigga was shooting all these niggas, don't tell me it was self-defense because we don't get self-defense in California. Even back then in the 80s. So don't say like, oh, yeah, that was back in. No, nigga. No. Niggas was getting hit with enhancements back then. That's around the time when it started, them late 80s. If you don't believe me, you can ask Alex from Street TV. You can ask Kev Mack. You can ask these gang experts and historians. You can just ask them if the man's name has ever rung bells. It hasn't. But anyways, I already said what I said, homie. You could, you could, you could believe me. You could not. You could unsubscribe. You could keep watching. I don't give a fuck what you do, but I'm not about to keep going back and forth with niggas on me because I don't know anybody that's a California gang member that is going to say that he was really built like that. I don't know anybody that's going to say it's okay for you to go from PC back to the main line. My nigga J.O. Felony was in L.A. County. He said it in the interview. Did y'all not watch the interview? He said it's not PC. This was in the county. It's not PC, but it's somewhere where they put famous people. Basically, you didn't hit the GP, though. If you such a gangster, why are you not hitting GP with the rest of the gangsters? Because you know you, 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 you ducking. You ducking and dodging your duties. And you don't want to go face that zoo. So all you just put me over here. And they offered the homie to go over there too. And that nigga said, nah, whatever I got to sign, put me back on the main line. That's gangster shit. But anyway, square ass niggas.